guys, George Fry here. Welcome to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to create brushes in Illustrator CC for inking up characters, backgrounds, any sort of scenes. These are some things I, I picked up uh, working at uh, Disney and Universal Studios and various other companies in my professional career. And uh, this is going to be the first video in a series of videos where I'm going to share some of these tips and tricks. So come on board and uh, let's get started. Hi guys and uh, welcome. So we are in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, I have a new file open. This is a eight and a half by eleven uh, canvas uh, that I have here. All right, so let's get started creating brushes in Adobe Illustrator. So basically, <clears throat> these are some very simple brushes uh, that will give you various line weights and um, give you a lot of flexibility when you're trying to ink up. Uh, characters and scenes and things like that, whether it's for product or just inking for a comic book or any sort of uh, graphics that you need done. So this is a really cool method. All right. So <clears throat> once we have our canvas open, we need to open up the uh, brushes palette, which is right here, um, and also our Pathfinder uh, palette. And you can find both of those. If you go into Window, you can see down here I have our brushes uh, checked off and the Pathfinder checked off. Okay, so that's we're going to be working with those two um, those two palettes very frequently. Okay, so the first thing to do is we're going to go up here to our uh, uh, circle ellipse tool, um, and we're going to select that, and we're going to go down here uh, to our stroke and our color fill, and we are going to delete the stroke, and we're going to click on our color fill box. We're going to bring that forward. And we're going to just pick black and we're going to fill that in black. All right. So now that we have this selected, we're just going to go ahead and draw in a, you know, sort of a tapered shape there. And I'll zoom in. And this is going to be our first brush that we're going to create. Um, this is going to give our, our taper to taper from either side. So this is probably going to be the most frequently used brush uh, in terms of inking when you're inking characters. All right. So once we have that created, basically what we're going to do is we're going to select that. We're going to go over to our brushes palette. We're going to click on the palette menu. <clears throat> we're going to create new brush. We're going to click on that and our new brush palette comes up right here. And we're going to go down and we're going to choose art brush. Okay. Once we hit okay, our art brush options are going to show up. Now over here, it's going to show the stroke, but it's going to sh it's it's going to showcase which direction you want it to go. You can go left to right, right to left. It doesn't really matter. Uh, in our brush options, we're just going to leave this as is. Stretch to fit stroke length is okay. Um, and our direction, it really doesn't matter. That's up to your preference. Okay, so then we're just going to go ahead and click OK. And once we do that, you could see in our brushes palette that it shows up right here. Now. I am going to go ahead and delete these brushes, which we don't need and I never use anyway. I'm going to get rid of those, get rid of those. I just uploaded um, Adobe CC. I was actually working on Adobe CS6 for years. Um, I'm working professionally. You know, I'm a contractor, so I do. Um, I have my own business and I, I do contract work for Disney, Universal Studios, uh, Nickelodeon, you name it. And um, I didn't really need to upgrade, so I, I upgraded to CC and I'm sort of kind of, all the basics are the same, but there are certain nuances that are a little bit different, so bear with me a little bit. Um, okay, so here's our, here's our brush, okay? So I'm going to keep our basic line brush and I'm going to keep this kind of rough charcoal feather brush. I'm going to keep that. All right, so from this brush, uh, I'm just going to make a copy of it down here. We're going to create our second brush. Now, go back to our um, shape palette. Instead of the ellipse, let's go, go ahead and choose the rectangle tool. We're just going to draw another shape on top of this, approximately to the middle there. All right, and we're just going to go ahead and select both. Now, you can see the stroke is behind and underneath. It's going to... It's gonna, um, as they light up, it's going to show you what's underneath it. All right. Now we want to cut this. So basically we're going to go down to our pathfinder tool and we are going to divide. All right. So with those selected hit divide 
Now what tends to happen is when you divide, and you can see here, it'll group uh, the whatever objects you've, you've uh, chosen to divide. So what you have to do is go up to Object, go to Ungroup, and now it'll be separate items. So what you do is you just select uh, the, re the rectangle shape with the actual stroke underneath, and you're just gonna go ahead and delete that. So this is our second brush that we're gonna create. So with that selected, let's go back up to brush, new brush, art brush, okay. Now I'm gonna go left to right here because when I use this tapered brush, I typically start from the cut off flat edge and um, as I'm actually inking and I'm gonna work to the, to the tapered edge and whatever I'm doing, okay? So I'm just gonna hit all right. And uh, there's our second brush created, okay? So let's do that again. We're gonna hold Alt, drag down. We're gonna copy this again. Now we're gonna do something similar, except I'm gonna go up to the pen tool here and I'm gonna just go ahead and select, you know, create um, a little shape, another rectangle shape, but I'm gonna hold Shift down here and when you hold shift down, you can see that it snaps to a 45 degree angle. All right, so we wanna create a 45 degree angle kind of coming up here. And we're just gonna close that off, go back to our selection tool. Now you can see there's a 45 degree angle and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna select all, we're gonna divide. Again, it's gonna group it. We're gonna ungroup and we're going to delete this. This is brush number three. So the same thing. New brush, art brush, okay, and there's our third brush, all right? Now, I want to create another variance of this brush. I'm just going to keep that selected. I'm going to go over to our rotate tool, hold down the mouse key. Underneath that, you're going to see scale, reflect, shear. Go down to reflect, double click on that. And we're gonna wanna reflect this horizontal. So we're gonna hit okay. You can see that now our brushes, uh, the, the elongated point is up at the top. So we're just gonna go ahead and select that. New brush, art brush, okay. And there we have another variancy of that brush, all right? So I'm just gonna delete all of these. So here in our brushes menu, we have all the basic brushes that we're gonna to need to ink up uh, a character, which I will do in a follow-up video to this and uh, another series of videos just showcasing all the different and really cool things you could do with this stuff, all right? So basically, let's go ahead and, and, and do a line. Let's just draw a line and we're gonna go down, we're gonna make that a stroke. Now up here, you could see our stroke weight, so you can change this to as thick or as thin as you need to, right? So let's just say, you know, whatever you're doing, you're, you're I'm gonna copy this down here. You wanna apply one of your brushes that you made. So you select that stroke, now you can apply the tapered um, brush that we made. With that selected, you can make it as thick or as thin as you want, which is really cool, okay? Um, and the same thing with some of these other brushes, you know? Uh, you know, as thick or as thin as you would like. And you can get some really cool variancy. Now also, you can go up here. Let's say we want to select our taper. So let's, let's say you're doing hair. You could literally just draw in if you have a, a Cintiq, it's a lot easier because you could be doing this with the pen tool, but um, I'm doing this with a mouse. But this is a really kind of cool method you know, you could already start to kind of see hair would be ridiculously easy, you know, just by getting different line weights and things like that. Now you can go ahead and you can choose, you know, to go thicker or thinner. And uh, you can already see some hair starting to form here, all right? So this is just kind of some... Um, some very basic but very, very effective techniques um, on inking on the computer, in especially, specifically Adobe Illustrator CC, all right? Now you can save out these brushes. This, I'm gonna save this out, so you're gonna go to the, um, to the menu. Let's go to Save Brush Library, all right? Now we can just save that in the, on the desktop. Let's just call it George Inking 
brushes, Illustrator, CC. And we will hit save. And there you have it. So now, uh, for you professionals out there or uh, guys that are in school and wanting to get out there, this is a great way at home. Create your own brushes, save this out, stick it on your laptop, and um, uh, take your brushes anywhere you go. So, um, all right, so stay tuned for the next video. Guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. It's going to help it grow. I'm going to share some great content with you guys in the future. And uh, stay tuned. I'll see you soon, okay?